Best greetings from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Furso, and this is my channel, Dr. Viktor Furso, entomologist, beekeeper, teacher. And I'm very pleased to be online today during this stream about entomology. Well, it's announced entomology quiz for people who can speak English, can understand English, can, can watch and listen it in a free time. Actually, for English speaking, countries and for Russian-speaking countries, for people who can understand, speak, and watch this video with pleasure. Because some tricky English questions about entomology are welcome to you from Entomological Society of America. Actually, American entomology is so lucky to have annual meeting, kind of this contest or quiz, entomology quiz, annual quiz, which happened past November, and already these questions uploaded on the web page of Entomological Society of America, and together with answers. I read loudly just questions last weekend, and this weekend I promised to read questions and give answers. Actually, for people who can watch YouTube for really, and who has uh, difficult access maybe to some web pages from America, maybe, or use just smartphone freely and without uh, navigation somewhere on other web pages, deeper, deeper, deeper to some uh, to find it correct source. So this is I'm reading questions about entomology about insects and answers because they're tricky, funny, interesting and entertaining. So let's go. I'm reading first part 26 questions and give you just directly answers because I have a file of both, and it's, some questions are really interesting, some not a much less, but nevertheless, I could, will try to give some comments about it. Hello to my friends in France, and my best greetings to people in France, and of course, in India. Some people from India typed on a computer me that don't forget about us, because one billion of people so can watch and can understand English. And it's really great because the Russian speaking audience, a little bit uh, limited actually, uh, especially in my subject entomology, quite specific, you know, quite specific. Entomologist in a Russian language, it sounds uh, something very funny and unusual, unusual, very tricky man, very uh, funny man. And so this. Animals uh, like insects, quite unusual for people. People cannot accept them as animals. Never mind, never mind. Entomologists, this is a specific group of people who enjoy insects. So they create interesting questions with funny answers. Let's go to the list. And I read, and if you like something or you have questions, type in the contents in, under this video just directly online. I will try to follow to the list. Okay, first question was accompanied with a picture of a fly. Fly was very funny and unusual with Latin name. This is for people who can use quickly internet. Latin name, Daprolestis femiganetus, is a species of fly described by Robinson in 2020. It was named in honor of Marvel Comics assassin Natasha Romano or Black Widow. The name of it is specially up because this species belong to what family of diptera, which members are often known as assassin flies or robber flies? This is a very simple question because everybody from entomologists knows that robber flies, this is a family, Asilide in Latin language. Asilide, the source. Okay, a lot of papers like a revision of endemic Australian robber fly genus Daprolestes and description of your humor letalis genus. No, humor letalis, very funny, also Latin name of a genus, quite unusual, humor letalis. I don't know, sounds pretty funny in even, even in Latin. Okay, question number two, abbreviation, DBI. DBI is a biotic index developed by UCA 2020 for monitoring freshwater ecosystem in Rwanda using populations of what 
Paleotherus insect order as a biological indicators. Rwandan members of this order include the violet species of uh, insect dropwing, Latin name Tritemis annulata, and Dwart, Dwart Petcher, Latin name Diplacodes pumila, which are also known as the flying flowers of the river. Who are flying flowers of the river? Okay, in Rwanda, this is a name for dragonflies. So Odonata, this is a special use for DBI, stands for Dragonfly Biotic Index. Okay, very interesting. Dragonflies, very important for biotic indication of aquatic ecosystem. Question number three. Compound ethyl butyl acetaminopropionate was recently discovered to have antimicrobial and antiviral properties in the paper of Yugen Gongu, 2019. But since it was mostly commonly used for protection against mosquitoes and bited flies, it is better known as the name of abbreviation IR3535, what means IR stands for it in the name of this compound. Okay, answer. IR means insect repellent, insect repellent, number 3535, which is used against mosquitoes. Well, question number four. Name any one of the three entomologists that are currently in Entomological Society of America presidential line of succession which means entomologists scheduled to begin their terms in Entomological Society of America president at the end of 2020, 21-22. Their names in answer, Michelle Smith, Jessica Warr, and Marianne Elaine. Very interesting question, specifically for American entomologists and people who know internet easily to find it on the web page of SAI. Next question number five. After a controversial flag featuring a Confederate battle emblem was removed, this mosquito-centric image was one of the options considered to what state's new flag design. Now, this is also a question about history in the United States. Image, which is given an image here, mosquito around him, a lot of uh, stars and the two le red labels. Image in the public domain, taken from the State Department of Archives and History, belonging to the state Mississippi of United States of America. Question number six. Scientist Jason with colleagues 2015 performed field trials to determine Yield loss of alfalfa crops due to infestation of a leafhopper and poasca fabe. The way these uh, leafhoppers, they then used the, uh, no, no, our colleague, entomologist. Entomologist then used the results in conjunction with current crop market values and crop costs to directly calculate what value of Empoasca Fabe in alfalfa? The answer is, this is a terminology. Value, it means economic injury level. So it's used for calculation of value of a damaged Empoasca Fabe. Econ answer, economic injury level. Nice question. Okay, question number seven. Here, just uh, given the page with uh, some marks with deleted words. And the uh, question is, what well-known North American insect in the subject of a partially redacted, edited article pictured here, with the names use an environmentally sensitive internal time to control over winter and dynamics? So what's that? Okay, this is answer. Monarch butterflies, Donaus plexippus. 
Danaos Plexippus use an environmentally sensitive internal timer to control overwintering dynamics. Question number eight. In the paper of Hoy and Hasso, 2050, 12, in this book of bi on biological control in the context of integrated pest management contains an introductory summary of a history of integrated control in the US. In this summary, a paragraph about the classic Arthur Stern with colleagues 1959 IPM paper is immediately followed by the paragraph about what best-selling books released roughly three years later. Okay, the answer, yes, this is time of 1959, and the book after three years was the book of Silent Spring about environment, famous and very well known. Book Silent Spring, great. Question number nine. Question number nine, small interruption. The scientist Fadamiro with colleagues 2005 demonstrated that newly emerged species Pseudoactyon tricuspis adults lack sufficient nutrition reserves to survive more than five days. Consequently, these parasitoid flies should be fed sugar or nectar in order to make them more effective as biological control agent of what invasive species? Yes, that's a nice question about biological control. And the answer for this parasitoid host of this invasive species, this is a red imported fire ant, Solenopsis invicta. Okay, a red imported fire ant, Solenopsis invicta, has a special parasitoid, Pseudactyon tricuspis. Very good question. And the paper is cited of Fadamiro. Lifespan and patterns of accumulation and mobilization of nutrition in the sugar-fed forid fly. This forid fly, which is living in the body of uh, red imported fire ant, eating just flesh, of this ant and then just come into the head and making pupation in the head and just head is falling down. And forest fly is named Pseudoctyon drucuspis, very funny forest fly parasitoid. Okay, question number 10. Mosquito, Mosquito Aedes, Egypti mosquitoes and other blood feeding arthropods produce the enzyme apirase, which degrades ADP and impedes blood coagulation. According to the scientist Smart with colleagues 1995, the apirase gene is expressed specifically in what glands of adult female Aedes aegypti? Okay, the answer is obvious. Obviously, these are salivary glands. The salivary gland, gene is expressed in, in a salivary gland. Nice question again, 11. The Laos, with specific Latin name, Lepidotherus macro, macrorini, has been shown to survive under high hydrostatic pressure and is one of a few insects adapted to extreme marine conditions as it was described in the paper of Leonardo with colleagues 2020. This particular specimens, ha, what participant specimen host can do it? And this particular specimen host was what type of amphibious mammal which can expose its parasites to high pressure environment by diving as deep as 2,000 meters below the surface. That's an interesting question, really, about mammal which has laws in Antarctica. And who is that? This is a seal, 
specifically element seal, but except common or specific name of any seal. So elephant seal has this species, but also another seals, have, they have also the same kind of a louses. Very interesting for Antarctic. Great. And the paper is published in 2020 under pressure. The extraordinary survival of a li seal lies in the depth of the sea. Published in Journal of Experimental Biology in 2020. Okay, question number 12. Recent ecological niche modeling in the paper of Joaquin and colleagues 2020 indicates that what invasive species of cicada fulgurid has specific potential to establish new populations in the Western United States, especially in the region of California and Washington that have an abundance of trees of heaven, many Latin name, Ailantus altissima. And this is the answer. What an invasive fulgurid name. The name of this fulgurid is spotted lanternfly, licorna, licorma delicatula. Spotted lanternfly, licorma delicatula. The paper is 2000, published in 2020. The establishment risk of licorma delicatula Hemiptera fulgoridae in the United States and globally published in Journal of Economical Entomology. Question 13. What prefix precedes azaquine and pyroximate in the names of two pesticides used by scientists Lopez and Liburn in 2020 for effective management of tetranihid mites? This prefix also has an unrelated definition as a type of a wetland habitat. The answer, very funny, fen. Fen. That's good enough. Okay, question 14. Very specific Hell ID diagnostic test kit developed by scientists I, uh, in the, the company Andi Agdia Incorporated in late 1990s and published in paper results published in Brian with colleagues 2000 was used to identify two native insect pests of cotton that both belong to what family? What is the family of cotton insect pests? And this very common and important insect pest belonging to the family Noctuide, Noctuide moth. And the name is HEL, referring, refers HEL ID diagnostics, is referring to Helicobia berpa armigera, the name of this moth, or Heliothis viridescens, virescens, Heliothis virescens, the name of this important cotton moth. Pace of cotton. Question number 15. A study of disease transmission among social insects, which has particular resonance in 2020, suggests that they rely more on behavioral me mechanisms, i.g. hygienic behaviors, rather than natural immune response in order to reduce the risk of transmission this was published in the paper of Lopez Uribe in 2016. This hypothesis was tested by measuring what type of immune response, which is a common defense against pathogens and that are too large to be phagocytosed. And this is a type of immune response is very specific. The answer is this is type named is encapsulation, encapsulation, just making it just a circle around, encapsulation, encapsulation, very nice immune response. Okay, question number 16. A relatively new behaviorally based management method called 
IPM, CPR, Integrated Pest Management Crop Perimeter Restructuring, has been tested for efficacy against four key pest species in apple orchards, as it published by Otkinson Messach with colleagues 2020 and Peach Orchards, Blauau with colleagues 2014. These four species of pests belonging to two different insect orders. Name either one of these orders. The answer, which are pests in apple orchards and peach orchards. As it's expected, one order is Hemiptera and the second order is Lepidoptera, bugs and moths and, and butterflies. The pests are brown marmorated sting bug, very important pest, tarnished plant bug, and oriental fruit moth and codlin moth. More, these are four most important pests in peach and apple orchards in the United States. Let's go forward to the question 17. In 2019, the International Airport in what North Central Branch City unveiled its new logo featuring a large butterfly behind the silhouette of a boxer, Muhammad Ali? Very nice question about Muhammad Ali in butterfly and airport. The answer is Louisville. Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Very nice. Butterfly Muhammad Ali in airport. Nice question. Question 18. What three word term is defined by Barbosa 1998 in the use of tactics and approaches that involve? the manipulation of the environment of natural enemies so as the, to enhance their survival resulting in enhanced effectiveness. The concept explained by this term also has been called ecological engineering by Settle and Settle in 2018 and is often treated as an alternative to augmentation and importation. Yes, these three different parts of biological control, augmentation, importation, and the answer is very nice and very useful for biological answer. Conservation biological control. Conservation biological control. Question number 19. Burn breast, bristles, hair plates, groups of mechanoreceptor hairs, and company form sensilla are all mentioned in the paper of Catherine Loudon of the roof of what body parts, structure and function. Her article was published in the Encyclopedia of Insects, second edition appearing shortly after the section entitled Anatomy, Head, thorax, abdomen, and genitalia. So, what part of body consists with these bristles and hair plates? The answer is antenna. Antenna. Encyclopedia of Insects articles are in alphabetical order, which is the name anatomy article, immediately proceeds after the antenna article. So antenna and then anatomy. Well, question number 20. Entomologist Jan and Macmillan in 1979 and Mark Horden you in 1987 were the first entomologists to study the mechanism of a fall army worm's resistance to what acetylcholinoesterase inhibiting insecticide. In the years between publication of these two studies, a factory that produced this insecticide came under the fire for explosion and explosive thousands of people to toxic methyl isocyanate gas. So what is the name of this 
dangerous insecticide. Insecticide is named carbaryl. Carbaryl. And the paper is differential feeding by two strains of foul armyworm larvae on carbaryl treated surfaces. Published in the Journal of Economical Entomology. And I would say question will be more interesting about the place where it happened, where thousands of people were exposed to toxic methyl is a cyanide gas or carbaryl. Maybe this was copal. I'm not too sure, but I can check it on internet. But it's dangerous. Insecticide, blood insecticide is a carbaryl. Okay, question number 21. All right, me and my friends and colleagues just watching me. Thank you very much. I recognize because I need to read and sometimes to see who is watching me. Hello to everyone. Hello, Ruslan Dmitro, and hello to my friend in France, Andrew. Andrew, hello. Okay, what's about next question? 29. 21. Wait. Sorry. Carbaryl, right? Question 21. Uh, here, more difficult because here, so it's supplied with picture. Never mind. I explain. This figure is from the manuscript entitled Arthropods as something in brackets. Name of a paper, Review of Global Patterns, published by Valdes in 2020. What specific behavior is described by the two words that were removed from the title about something, arthropods as the something? This behavior has been observed in tiger beetles, giant water beetles, and giant Amazonian ants. Although, as the figure indicates, it's more frequent reported in spiders. Maybe something about predaceous behavior. <coughs> <coughs> Note, your answer doesn't have to exactly match the title, but it must be specific enough to accurately describe what the figure represents. Okay, the answer, as I said, about predation. Yes, the answer is predation on vertebrates, arthropods as vertebrate predators, arthropods as vertebrate predators, and they are belonging to Coleoptera, Hemiptera, Hymenoptera, Mantodea, and Odonata. Yes, some of them can, especially their larvae, can be carnivorous or predators, except more specific version of vertebrate predation, but do not accept just predation or carnivory. So this is predation on vertebrates, the answer. And the paper was named Arthropods as Vertebrate Predators, or Predators, sorry. Vertebrate predators, I, I guess it is the same. Vertebrate predators, a review of global patterns, published by Valdes in 2020. Question 22. Although California populations of the Western fans lizard are heavily utilized as host of immature species of mite or tick, Exodus pacificus ticks, they are not competent reservoirs of what bacterial pathogen, which is vectored by Exodus pacificus. We are looking for the specific scientific name of the pathogen, not about the name of a disease caused by the pathogen. The name of disease probably Lyme disease, but the answer is pathogen is the name, scientific name, Borrelia ludendorffi. Borrelia ludendorffi. Ludendorffi. Borrelia ludendorffi, borreliosis, disease, borreliosis, and pathogen Borrelia ludendorffi, ludendorffi. The paper is relative importance of lizards and mammals as host 
temporary host of a lizard, temporary host. And mammals as host of exoditics in Northern California, published in Journal Experimental and Applied Acarology. Question uh, 23. Scientist McCutcheon and Turnip Seeds, pub in, published in 1989, study of Chrysodioxis includes parasitoids. In the paper of Knight and Gurs, 2007, Review of Nizarro Viridula Management Plus Strategies, and paper of Mezach and colleagues, 2005, search for aphid glycine resistant plant cultivars are all scientific articles with the general goal of minimizing economical losses of what widely produced food crop. So this is the question about widely produced food crop, widely distributed in states, now in Ukraine as well. These are <coughs> soybeans. Soybeans, the answer. Widely distributed food crop. Question 20, 24. Doctor Strange, weak mono butterflies. What attracts blue butterflies? Yeah, thank you for watching. The topic is about biological quiz about different. The topic is about entomology quiz. I'm reading questions and also directly answer because questions I already announced last week. Today, questions and answers all together to be more quick and questions tricky and answers quickly. Okay. Question 24. The colony of laboratory reared parasitoid was informally known as Harry strain, was developed in Hawaii in 1980s. The Harry strain has since been used for biological control of Mediterranean fruit flies and melon flies. But according to Harris and Okamoto in 1991, it was originally tested for its ability to parasitize to what other invasive pests. And what other invasive pests? Not only Mediterranean fruit flies, not only melon flies, but the answer is oriental fruit fly, Bactrocera dorsalis. Oriental fruit fly, Bac Bacterocera dorsalis. This is diptera fly. <coughs> Question 25. Question 25. With the special linguistic, linguistic question. Very funny. Interesting. This, this is a special hemipteron family. The name of different, which are sounds in different languages. Bunihishi in Navajo language. Laulau kaskas in Finnish. Isihlo no no in Zulu. Chilingling in Talalong. Tata rakishi in Maori. Are all words historically used? in their responding languages to refer the members of what hemipteron family? And the answer is, this is leafhopper or so, cicadide, cicadide, which are distributed in Africa, in New Zealand, in Finland, in Mexico, and what is the language? Tagalog, Tagalog language, I am not sure what, what is geographical distribution of this language Tagalog, it needs to check it in internet. But the family name of a hemipteron, this is Cicadidi, linguistic, not so entomological, but tricky question. Question 26, as I announced last weekend, 26 was the last, but not the least, because next questions will be announced as a second part of video. So this will be this last question for today's question and answers. Question is 26. The X 
in brackets, X of a predator is a progressive change in the amount of progeny in relation of, to prey density. And female predatory mites can vary their offspring production at different prey densities. In fetus, in fetus predatory mites, the X is linked to the density of prey mites. What is this X? To answer the question, to what two words terms has been replaced twice by the letter X in the above intercept for the article on biological control of two-spotted spider mite in the paper 44, 2020. <clears throat> the answer is <clears throat> terminology of two words a word term. The answer is numerical response. Numerical response is a the numerical response of the predator is a progressive change in the amount of progeny in relation to prey density. The female predatory mites can vary from their offspring production at very different prey densities. In fetus seed predatory, predatory mites, the numerical response is linked to the density of prey mites. Okay, these are questions and answers. For 26 questions and answers for today, the next part of this quiz, entomology quiz of Entomological Society of America, will be announced a little bit later, maybe today or maybe tomorrow or after my break. Okay, for scientists, for amateurs, for nature lovers who can listen to me today, because now it's going to be evening in Ukraine, but it's going to be. Does daytime, lunchtime in states, in Canada, in other part of the world? I'm not sure uh, how it's about uh, Australia. Well, daytime or uh, nighttime, probably night. So what's about solitary wasps? What is the question of a mouse that horn got horned at the wasps? Not yet, not no one question about wasps. Several questions were about parasitic wasps. So that's a great pleasure. So some scientists from California Davis have been participating in this entomologic quiz committee in Entomological Society of America. And I was very pleased to announce these questions and these answers today for people who can type internet and who can just watch some funny questions and funny treaty questions on internet and who enjoy animals and especially Insects, butterflies, beetles, bugs, everyone who enjoys arthropods are welcome to my channel to watch more questions, more answers, and more video, and my stories and talkative, talkative stories about different insects under the microscope. I put them under the microscope on my channel, and I accompany my stories with story, with show, we're looking under the microscope on the tiny behavior of beetles, bugs, some drug, some larvae, tiny larvae, some caterpillars, some different, not only insects, some spiders and different arthropods. So thank you for watching. Press like, write your comments and ask your questions. I'm looking forward to see you on my channel in continuation of this entomology quiz Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I will read this in next part of 24 questions of entomology quiz, which has been and <clears throat> which took place in Entomology Society of America in November 2020. And I'm pleased to read them loudly, just for fun, just for pleasure, for people who is interested in questions and answers about entomology. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Looking forward to see you soon on my channel as subscriber. And don't forget to visit my Patreon page for formal or not formal, just friendly, friendly support on Patreon. I have a link on Patreon for the financial support of my channel. It's really pleasant for me that in capitalist time, some people, my followers, my supporters 
even my sponsors on Patreon page. So it was really impossible in socialist time. In, it's difficult to say, would internet come to Ukraine, to Russia, if it would be socialist time? Who knows? It would be socialist internet. But now we have capitalistic internet and capitalistic Patreon, which is located in the United States of America, but making such kind of roots, roots everywhere, everywhere, and feeding us with this tiny, maybe tiny, very tiny, tiny, little, little bit roots. And giving us a little bit support. If support will grow, our channel will grow as well. So I promise you as well. Thank you for watching. Welcome to my channel to support my talkative stories about insects, about bugs. Thank you for watching. See you soon on my channel. Bye bye.